Hello everybody, Tony with the Frill Auto Group. Today I'm going to take you through our Shasta Phoenix 336 RLS. This is a triple slide rear living floor plan. I'm going to cover all the specs and features that I can remember by memory. But rest assured, come on out because I'm going to forget to mention something. So this is 36 foot 3 inches in overall length. Weighs 10,452 pounds empty with a 12,000 GVW. Has a hitch weight of 1,998 pounds. Has a water capacity of 48 gallons a gray water capacity of 45, a black water capacity of 45, and a galley water capacity of 45 gallons. Has a 10 gallon water heater, both gas and electric. And we're gonna start at the bottom of the coach now and cover some features. So I've got a six point Lippert ground control 3.0 auto leveling system. We have our JT Strong Arms factory installed up here in front so you don't need to use a tripod. These will really help to stabilize the trailer when there's movement going on. Someone walking through the trailer, you won't feel as much wiggling or the trailer moving around. What's nice about them is they travel with your legs. So if you've ever used a tripod, you'll know that your trailer is either too high or too low to completely utilize that tripod. And then you've got something sitting here that you can't back your truck close to. So very convenient to have those JT Strong Arms right there on the feet. We have a weather shield insulation package with a heated and enclosed underbelly. We have Dexter axles with the Dexter Easy Flex between them and 16 inch wheels and tires. We have our Lippert Solid Step four step system going up into the trailer with a 13 inch top step. We have our Asdell construction in the sidewalls. This is a non-wood product, not like your Luan. It's three times the insulation, puncture resistant, mold and mildew free, and noise deadening. It's a huge upgrade to the sidewall construction of this trailer. Check it out online for a little more information. We have a full pass through storage both doors on both sides. They have the one inch thick storage doors with the magnets that hold them up and your steel slam latches. So you can just let them go and they are built to slam. On the other side of that storage compartment, you have all of your hookups and all of your dump valve levers. They're not frame mounted, they're inside the compartment. Very convenient and secure. As we move up the side here, we have our outdoor speakers with our TV bracket in between them. That allows the master bedroom TV to come outside so you can view it underneath your power awning. Power awning has an LED light strip up against the side of the coach, so the awning does not need to be out to utilize that light. It actually throws a lot of light. That comes in handy when it's too windy to have that awning out. Going around the front here, we have our fully painted front cap with the turn point technology. This allows a six and a half foot bed pickup truck to do a 90 degree turn without the need of a sliding hitch. This is a full painted cap, so the black and the white are painted. Of course, you have stickers on there of the stripes and the Phoenix emblem. Notice that the, the flat walls facing forward and back are gray and our side walls are white. That's a cool contrast. So all of your walls and your slides facing forward and back are gray and our exterior is white. We have our solar plug up here on the front. It is prepped for solar so you can take your portable panels, plug them in there and drive them to the sun. You don't have to park your coach in the sun and you don't have to get up there and constantly wash them. There's your other storage door that has all of your, your connections and your dump handles. So check out the pictures, you'll see it there. We have our exhaust for our water heater and our furnace on the non-enjoyment side. It keeps the heat and that gassy smell on this side of the coach. So you have a 50 amp service because it has two factory installed air conditioning units. You have a 15,000 BTU in the main living and then a 13,500 BTU as a secondary AC. Both are central and ducted, controlled by a two zone thermostat. Keep walking around here as we round around the back. You're gonna notice your gray wall in the very back as well. I just like the contrast. It just kind of breaks up the white. It makes it look very, very nice. We have a two inch receiver here on the back for all of your bike racks or any storage trays that you want to put any gear on. We have a water or a water, a ladder that goes all the way up onto your walkable roof. The roof is a maintenance free roof with a 12 year warranty. That roof never requires a coating. There's your bracket for your pre-wired backup camera. We round around this side. We're going to be back at our door and I'm going to take you inside. As I squat down here, we have our spare tire carrier that's underneath the trailer. We also have a quick connect LP line for all of your appliances, your barbecues and such that take propane. You don't have to carry extra bottles. This will work off the two propane tanks that the trailer is equipped with. There are seven gallon, 30 pound tanks, but it is already regulated. So you have to take your regulator off. It's already a low pressure line. So take your regulator off whatever appliance you're using on those. As we go inside, I'm gonna go up my four steps. Top step being 13 inches wide, great place to leave your shoes. And also it does not allow you to get a running start as you come out of the trailer. We have residential style flooring and carpet throughout the coach, solid surface counters at every location, not just the main locations. A lot of competitors will put them only on the main counters. 
and all the other counters are just a Formica countertop. These are solid surface everywhere. We have a 14.7 cubic foot refrigerator, residential, with two barn doors at the top, and then two freezer drawers below that. We have our large oven that's a glass front and a glass top. It has auto lighting, lights itself. You don't need to light a pilot light anymore. Also lights up with blue LED lights around the knobs. We have our 30-inch residential microwave that sits above it, and there's plugs everywhere in here. So I'm gonna keep pointing them out as I go. There's a plug there on that little counter, so coffee pot, toaster, whatever you wanna put there. To the left of the oven, we have a trash can, hidden trash can that slides out, and that's very convenient if you travel with pets or young kids, and you don't want them in the trash, and it just keeps it hidden and out of the way. We have our full-size pantry. You go into the pantry, you have three drawers with locks on them so you can organize all your stuff. You even have a plug in the pantry there on that shelf. Very deep shelves and a lot of space. We also have a motion activated light. So when you open up this door, that light will go on. In the island, we have two large cabinets. One is a cabinet where you can store all of your cleaners. Second one has two drawers in it. So two more built-in drawers for great organization. In our island, we have a dual well stainless steel sink, countersunk with the covers that make it flush for more work area. We have a freestanding dinette with storage in all the chairs and storage in the tabletop. On all windows, we have, we have the blackout shades. So you pull them down, you want them to go up, just give them a tug. They are soft rise blind. They're on every window in here. So no more silhouetting through your pleated day and night shades and no more strings to deal with, and they completely black it out, which also keeps a lot of heat out. We have our Thomas Paine Theater seating here. It's a love seat with heat and massage, and also lights in the cup holders and along the bottom. Turn to the back here. There's our large sofa that is a trifold bed, very comfortable to sit on and sleep on. There's our large rear window behind it, and we have plugs at each end of the sofa, and on this end, we have our plug as well as two USB ports and cup holders. As I spin, we have cabinets up above there. We have our RCA flat screen TV. Below that, we have our drive, DVD, CD, AM, FM, indoor and outdoor music controller. And we also have our fireplace. Now I used to giggle at the fireplaces, but they are great heaters. It's a 750 watt and a 1500 watt setting. It will keep this place very comfortably warm with a very comfortable heat. And you're using the campground that you're staying at or resorts, electricity, not your propane. Turn a little bit more, you're gonna notice plugs on each end of this island. And also two plugs here at your buffet. Tons of drawers on the buffet, so no shortage of storage. Up in the ceiling of the kitchen, we have a whole house fan, or it's called a comfort air fan. It is thermostatically driven on a digital thermostat. You can tell when to open and when to close, and it'll close if it starts to rain. Spin a little bit more, you're gonna see our ceiling fan. All LED lights all the way through the coach. So very tender on the battery and very bright. Solid surface steps going up into the master. No carpet to break down. If you've ever been in anyone else's coach, you're going to know that this is where the carpet really takes a beating is on the steps. So now there's solid surface. All your toe kicks are carpet. So no nick in wood as you go up. Nice solid handrail and it is solid, not just for looks. We got linoleum as we walk up here into the bathroom. We have our porcelain bathroom sink, not plastic. Residential height counter, 48 inch shower, porcelain bowl toilet, lots of storage up along the side of it. You got your either coat rack there, it'd be kind of funny hanging your coat in the bathroom, but you can, or you can hang your towels there. We have an exhaust fan called the polite fan, keeps all the smell out of the trailer, pulls everything up and out, and then your medicine cabinet for getting ready. Walk into the bedroom, we have our king size bed, full 76 by 80 bed. Windows at each side of the head of the bed and also have your roller shades. As I turn, we have three wardrobes across the front, that center door being washer and dryer hookups inside there, or you can use it as a closet, it's your choice. We have cubbies down below each one of the mirrored closet doors, and we also have plugs at each side of the bed. So any CPAP users, and there is a little cubby hole storage down below the bed that goes up beside it all the way to the head of it. You also have shelves down each side with cup holders. Residential style dresser here, very deep drawers, all ball bearing glides throughout the trailer. Here is our sensor for our second air conditioner that sits right here. It's called a thermistor. 
It controls this air conditioner and talks to the thermostat below. So the two zone thermostat gets a message from that, tells it to turn on or turn off. The good thing is all ducts are joined. So if you go into a 30 amp situation and you have to bring your 50 amp service down to 30 amp and only use one air conditioner, one air conditioner still goes through all the ducts of this trailer. The second one just picks up volume. Kind of pan around here, give you a lay of the land. There's a lot more than I can tell you about in this video, so come check it out. This is one of our best-selling models. This is a 336 RLS. All right, let's go outside. I'm going down my steps, starting with my 13-inch. Notice I'm not running. All right, everybody. This is our Shasta Phoenix 336 RLS. This is 36 foot, three inches in overall length, has three slide outs, rear living floor plan, Dexter axles, two ACs, rear receiving hitch, Asdo construction, painted front cap, wine guard 360, high definition, digital antenna, heated massaging, theater seating, fireplace, 55 inch RCA TV, I think it's 55, don't quote me on that, it's either 50 or 55. We have our 14.7 cubic foot refrigerator, and the list goes on and on. Six point auto leveling, aluminum wheels, Dexter Easy Flex suspension. Come check it out. 209 404 2200. Check us out on the web at www.referralautogroup.com. As always, we're not strong arm salespeople. We're not going to hustle and hassle you to you buy. We're going to educate you and leave that buying decision completely up to you. We are a full service facility. We take care of all of our client service and warranty needs. We also have on site financing, parts, and supplies. As always, thanks for watching. All of our products and RVs are covered by the Warranty Forever Nationwide Lifetime Warranty at no cost to you ever. So come check it out. As always, thanks for watching. We truly appreciate it. Take care.